This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV, and we're very pleased to be joined today by Rich Soha, the Global Head of Inland Marine and North Amer American Marine Head for Allianz, to discuss what he sees as the top threats to maritime in 2023. So, you know, Rich, this is a transcendent time for ship owners uh, with decarbonization and digitalization and all of the inherent business th threats that are within. With the recent releases of Allianz's 12th risk barometer, what was found to be the number one risk to maritime today? Yeah, well, decarbonization and digitalization are certainly high in the list of concerns for ship owners, but the number one threat, as reported to us in the 2023 survey, was something a little more basic, which is fire and explosion. 29% uh, of responders indicated this is the primary concern, which is up from the third spot last year. So for, for some additional perspective on the 2022 Allianz Risk Barometer Report, fire and explosion was actually new to the top five risks. So this is a ever increasing concern. Um, fires on board vessels remain among the biggest safety issues for the maritime industry. Uh, it's also the most expensive cause of loss as well, accounting for 18% of the value of all claims according to our studies. Um, and there's various dynamics. Uh, there's you know, misdeclared cargo is a common culprit with a lot of focus on that in the industry right now. Uh, another high profile issue are lithium ion batteries. Uh, they can pose great danger for shipping as well as the wider logistics industry, whether they're being transported in electric vehicles uh, or even as standalone cargo, um, if they're not handled, stored or transported correctly. So Allianz recently published a white paper on lithium ion batteries that you can Google with a focus on uh, loss prevention measures. Um, you know, in going over the report, I noted that with interest that there was a new entry to the risk barometer, and that was changes in legislation and regulation. Now, this is obviously a very broad topical area. Can you distill down some of the leading risks, risks that were found here? Yeah, you know, ESG or environmental, social, and governance is, is uh, rapidly becoming a key topic of conversation in the segment. And, and it's not just because of legislation and regulation on the maritime industry, uh, but also because of heightened awareness on cargo owners, shippers on this topic, and the potential for ESG to become a factor in how they select their service providers. Um, with that said, the new IMO regulation for global shipping fleets to measure and improve their carbon intensity indicators is a critical regulatory factor. Um, it's widely expected that IMO is likely to revise the overall emission target for the shipping industry in the near future as well. So this is a moving target, which is causing a fair amount of anxiety. Um, other factors in legislation and regulation response to trade wars and protectionism, um, ever-changing economic sanctions that could force some restrictions of operations uh, on top of a uh, looming economic downturn, um, fallout from the conflict in Ukraine and potentially wider ge geopolitical tensions. You know, so all of these are risks that may need to be planned for and, and dealt with. But if you could summarize here, what should diligent ship owners be doing today to both assess and mitigate the risk in their own house? Yeah, you know, we believe that many ship owners are already doing a lot of work on risk mitigation, uh, whether it be ESG or cyber. Um, recent disruptions that we've come through in the last few years have increased awareness around business interruption and supply chain risk. So I think business leaders increasingly are seeing the value in investing more time and money in understanding what business continuity planning can achieve. Um, since we talked about it on, on ESG in particular, for those who've not yet done it, it'll be imperative, at least in my opinion, for there to be a, a paradigm shift from considering this to be purely a compliance aspect to the business, where you do just the bare minimum, to it being part of the overall business model. Uh, ESG will likely be intertwined with governments, suppliers, employees, and customers for, for a long time to come. Okay, so... Rich, I appreciate your insights. And as I said, Maritime certainly is fraught with risk. So I'm sure we'll have many more conversations in the future. Have a great day. You as well, Greg. Thank you.